Hey guys, so the thing that's on my mind this morning is how the heck do you tell your story? <laughs> I think this is true whether you are a corporate professional or an entrepreneur. I know for me, when I think about in particular why helping professional women rise in their career is so important to me, it's a very personal experience. Um, I had some experiences when I was in corporate that I wouldn't want anyone else to have to repeat. And I just know the struggle of trying to you know, move forward in a corporate environment that is primarily dominated by men and just how much I needed that support. And it was really difficult to find. And those stories are the bits and pieces of why I started my business to begin with. And yet telling the story is really tough. So I started every Friday this, um, ritual or habit or whatever you want to call it, where I sit down for about 15 or 20 minutes and write down my stories for the week. It might be the story about how a woman reached out to me via email that a, a video that I put out really changed her approach at work. Or it might be a story about our Sparkle and Rise uh, closed Facebook group, a community of ambitious women where we support each other and just the amazing stories that come out of there on how women are rising with the support of the other women in the group. The stories are really what is compelling other women to come and join us and to get the support that they need to rise in their careers. And the thing is, is if you don't take that dedicated time to really think about your brand, think about your business, think about the stories, it's really hard to tell them when you have an opportunity to explain what your business or your brand is all about. So whether you're a corporate professional, you have a side hustle, um, or you're a full-time entrepreneur, thinking about how to tell your story is such an important part of getting your message out there. And so if you find that you struggle with that as well, give it a try. Take a day of the week, Friday or Saturday or Sunday, and just set aside 15 or 20 minutes to capture the stories from the week. If a story from years ago uh, that really is part of the reason why you started your business comes to mind, jot that down. And before you know it, you're going to have a catalog of stories and you'll be able to really help people understand why you are in business, who you serve, and what that transformation looks like through storytelling. Hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.